ju mo fe ma wo oro to te ti n gbe se mo fe gbo e to lo ri shi ri shi mo wa lo lo ko njo kon iro yin to ko ju osu won ata won oro agbo fi ko gbo ire wo le fun teru to mo te we ta gba e ma fi para Television station. <laughs> Facebook tasi je bagede mo underscore 22 do instagram e wa nkan fi dile tabi ke fi dile nkan loni mo ku eto wa ni mo ku eto wa ti mo si fe ki awon omo yoruba ka gbiyanju lati fi ara bale lati gbo nkan ti mo fe so e je nbe wa fun gba koko ri ninu odun imi o se bere Share the video to fair boy. Eba mi share for my Yoruba. I didn't pay on a tower money. Tell if you couldn't go Yoruba nation. On a tower money. Tell if you couldn't go to Yoruba poor local. On a tower money. Africa, you know, no, I love. Lati Bawa. Olongo ona ta moyi, kule dinti tile to kote rutama, tima magbo pa. Mwezi sopi ke share video, nge ina ba ulo, e mo buyo yake to kufelo mi abiko ye. Now, nenga ti duko ni tiri ata mole ye, tima she dinti tima she injasi. Arise TV. Mwak pe baba ba nji ake to ye. Mwak pe mwak. En to si anko o program ye. Omo yoruba ni. En to anko o program ye. Omo yoruba ni. Ba wano o bari. A wano o mento je. Mi o mi da wuko. A mwen nou mi pa je. Ni ba ti mwen wo interview ye. Mwen si ba fun baba ba nji ake to ye. Bo gwe ni ti mba mba mwa bu ba ba yi. To si jom mwa yu ba to to. E jen ko pa yon lom. Bo gwe ni to ba mpe ba ba yi la la bo si. Ta bi to mba mwa son pe. Ba ba yi. O to pa to lo she bu ni. O ko yi lo ba ti nou mbu. E jen ki to mbe rwa lom. Ba ba yi manto she. O manto fe. O manto jafu. Baba yi mwen to fè, o si dwoti, judiciously, passionately, without fear or favor from anybody. Baba yi fi tok kon, tok kon, duro tin kon ti mwen fè, ki ni mwen fè, ki yo bako lo kwe rou. Interview yen, Pè lou bè ni to jè ta vi wà bò xè frustrati bà bà yè to e mò pres nà ou. Mwà fè yò, mwà fè yò e mi kò la rè yò. Mwà ti yò rò bò e lè nou. Bi bà bà yè xè, 
But, but she frustrated too. Is this to this ground? Baba did draw a seven judge penti mo ferry into your barno miri. He shed in one miri. He put a pole lori ne. To the extent that any to interview one gone mokwe, Baba he can also. I want to be the convert any to be the. To put you to do mokwe ofi Baba ye shiele ya. I want Baba to be co co freak you. Baba ye do ton ti pa pata. Bobo mo yoruba toro uti ye anu shemi oju tami funi kinto play video ye kinto play video ye ma fe ka gbo iwo si ti awon fulani fi lo awa yoruba atutu ti won lo pa ni awon ibarapa mejeje ni lo yo I go go lari ta an sotele. A mwe le tu buru jay. A mwa fula ni to wak ni nou lu. Mwa si lo pa mwa yo ba die die mwa pa mwa silent li ta mwe nyon mwa. Mwa kon den de ri pe a mwe nyon di, a mwe nyon mis, a ra mwe le. A se fula ni tele mwa. Mwa ba lo ko a pa mwa si be silent li. Mwa ba lo do. A pa wan si be silent li. Ti ti ta shiri wan fi tu. Ni pa ta shiri wan tu. A wan mi wan si be. A wan gro reja se a wan si fu difes. Wan wan si be. Koda. A wan ni wero yi wan si be. Beto je ba no je o konfun wak pe. A o re ni ke ni to li po tu ke si. A fe ni te mi se se mbo. Tè ni to 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 shè lè si lè lè to shò jwè to sèm di vòj nò tè ma gò isi mi A ta mò pi tò si nè A ra mi bù ma shò gò ti mò bò A a ri ni nò nus pe pa skò kò A a dè ri ka mò a gò fè rò sò npa e I rù kondisyon ta gò re A gò yò rù ba Everyone knows that we are the mercy of full anis Mi o ba shè lè sò dò yi sa Ti o shè lè sò dò yi ma A jè yi wà mbi ti o si fù la nè ni Ki la wò o ti yuri ki lò jù o ti yuri tan E lè yi la an baba yè rò pa pò La wò an dònan an rò pa pò pò yi E bò Bà pa o ba shè ka Bà pa o ba shè shan E jè a ka lò ri Bà dò shè pò o ba dò mò rò mò E jè kò nè ka lò kù ma lò lè Upon all, one frustrated Baba Ye, later I interviewed him once. I interviewed him, he didn't know me by. But I could not get away. Later, he had to find a job. After he did, the job was existing. Restructuring for self determination. Total, totally, the job was cool. Later in Nigeria, I left. Number. Eje kato boroi. Ifelodun wa papa mo yoruba. Moki bo bo anu ikani ipe ya kujuma, ya kujuma mo, ya kujama ta. Ati ba dia uru kote me yuko da. Komri cholo la lele na la la gaude baraka. Ati jig mo bo yo state. Eh ah, ya kunchi mo yoruba. Ema benu mo yipu te yoro yo. Tepe aonfela ni, ba ni rushe le tu she le ni. Or your city, Barapa, that will be a more flan, Luba Shelesi, Bobo newspaper gang be to run on sugar ye, no wasibe. I won't lock pa, I want more tecum. Why ya millenu? Come out as a newspaper cacan. To my shoe, Bobo sing ye, Bushy shell, a bunch of palm or your battle bay ye, Bushy palm or your battle. Ah, kaya filo jeo, nanda mwa nuno yuba, nanda mpa yuba diye 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 tafu ni limiti yuba, akini yuo uba melo kwenye alabu yuwa ni nani utokpa, kuri shiri shia wanyo nokpa, tafu la ni yipa, 
awon o de lu try awon eyan wa on commander wa ni ni maya ni le le ni lalate iruwa won gbiyanju awon mi kono bi me lo bi mo send e so won but eh ko si order lati bi force ko de tun si anything but awon ta gbara awon ta gbara ka ta send awon mo wa ton lo join won ni won ri won o sugba won ti olohun ni ki won ri won le won lo won le won lo won pada sa lo ni gbogbo awon soja yen ko si se kan ta le so pe pa to bayi ni se ta awon soja yen se gbogbo awon eyan yen pata ni won pa gbogbo ni doctor to wa ni maya gbogbo lo ko ya wo e ko awon mo ko gbogbo won ton gbo na to won to sa mo won lowo odun na doctor ni nbe awon fila ni de ti lu be pa awon awon fila ni gan 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 won bo ngan se ju yo ba lo to to gbogbo hospital yen fila ni lo to ju fila ni lo fi to ju so o n bolo mo lowo yawo e ku sinu oyun leyin gba ti gbogbo e ti awon de ta awon olopa ti lo to gbo won ti lo ton tun ku ko awon ton ri lo se tun wa yan awon eyan wa nbe lo se tun wa yan won koda lo ti ku ko ni yan aya bayi awon eyan wa lo ni ko ma ba won so ile ohun ni maya o se wa be won o se wa be won o se be awon boy si wa to wa me awon commander to wa me pe kon jo ko mu gbogbo yawo ohun lo won bo wa to ba ti e ti kon gbogbo e wa awon boy si wa se tu wa bo sinu ni ojo keta ko ni yen wa be sinu ni wa mo be sinu ni wa won ti pada ri oku alaboni so but o wa ya mi lenu awon social media wa awon media si wa to ma gbe unti pe bi gbogbo nkan yin lo e kon ma gbe fulani lo pa mo yoruba bayi o ta mo yoruba to ba wa pa fulani meji to ba po yo kan ibon la 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 na fla ni fin operate ton pa yo ba je de e o ton ba ka bon sakabula lowo lasan mo mo yo ba lowo o dogun o do te fla ni ni ipo fla ni ladajo fla ni sorry o mo yo ba gan ni o tun je ipo o mo yo ba ni o je olopa ko mo lo ba gan jo olopa mo atun ma tako yo ba na si be na ni pe won ti pa yan an fla ni fi system mo ran yo baba won ori nkan kan so so mo ro le yi ma mo be yi ma gbe photo awon eyan yi wa gbe wonu le nbi tori gbogbo wa kola wa lori social media ejo to ro olohun eyan admin wa eyan lase lupon ni yi ejo mu be yin boro se nkan mi lara ni ma gbe wo bi tun ba gbe wo bi boya ka pada gbe lo sori so lo but ki gbogbo awon won se le ri gbogbo awon sele buruko yi tun sele ko si ma se awon media se wa ka kiri nile ya ati oke okun ka ma re nkan kan ko ma re nkan kan to so npa isele yi bo se le to ai ke ko se provision na o ko je un to ko ba emi ninu je tori ati bi o se bi meji meta olohun ni je ko kun ko fe wole nisin ti pa ti pa la fin re pa ti pa ti pa la fin receive o ti pa ti kun kun so eh gba to luwa mi de ti se un to un fe kon se alaye o ti ri but ko si fe ni lu maya un ni tun mejo tin fe o si gbo un ta laye ye ko kon ri kon fe give for da they don't do it mo pe awon eyan to wa lohun e se fi do e se bayi lo ba awon ba awon baba kan te di salo baba kan to duro gan self ko si fe laarin won ta so so olohun ba wa se o olohun 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 ba yo ran gbo wa lo ti gbo o ni enough owo so because elei o soju su emi o nile yo baba yi bayi bayi o o ni agbara o o ni agbara ti pe don kun pomo yo bayi o pare pare e wa ni pe te ba ri pe ninu video yi won mo awon okunrin me meta ko ni abi merin to mo mo sile awon ton sise yen ni o so awon awon eyan wa ti so fe lo jo maya ni be abi jo keta ojo kerin lo jo oja yen awon wa ti so fe won se ri traces ni yen intelligent won sha lo ton fi a ton fi mu awon yen o tun ju aye ni o ju aye tori mi fara mo rara bo ti le on ko juju aye to to pe ba gbe wallahi oju aye lo je tori gbogbo won yen na o ye kon ti le on pada si bi ton tin bo oju aye won ti ran du fun fo lopa won ti ran du won fo lopa o ba won lopa o se ni fi won sile gbogbo evidence si nbe lori phone won fi ti ye gbogbo evidence si nbe lori phone won owo ton ton ni owo ton ba lowo won ba ya bi 2 million 3 million ton ti pin won ba lowo won lori video won gbogbo evidence si yen wa lowo won ye afiri ti ale dagbe fun pe awon gogo na sise yen awon fe wa wo nto lo ja maya nbe 
mo fi mu won mo ti ta won te pa ko meru o ta ble fela ni kan be ni be le bi information ta gba to je pe npe kan 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 la won kini npe kan kan ni tori kidnapper ni fela ni to ti je kidnapper ni fela ni yan so npe kan kan a ble yan ko jin si ma ya nbe nbe ni won tin sise buruku yi so kolon gba wa nbe ni o awon meta yen si won ti wa lodo awon fela ni o odori a commander odori a commander barapa nbi barapa center nbe na ku won lo awon bi ton ti le ku won wo to won se ni fi won sile o do wa immediate si to ra won se to ye ke ma se fun wa ni gbogbo awon ko yi awon baba ba nja pe to ye dide won ko letter si ti nubu your excellency en to je predecessor ati ko letter si tele o a o gbe si lati enu e a tu wan ko letter mi as a reminder to the continuation of government ile wa yi a tu wan ko reminder letter se yin na o wi pe ani yo ba se ton lati lo o to ja mi lenu ni pe emi ori tele eni ni mo to ri wo ri video ti won ti pe baba ba je a pe to ye saarin ni ara stb ti won ti interview baba yen bo bo ti won bi baba yen pata oro to frustrate baba yen ni baba yen do ni suru eyan o de da mo ki baba yen o to ba je iru mi ni ma ti fire won ti pe a lot of people ni won gbe wa sori ara stb to je ko ma pada awon alejo ye ma pada la li won gbe yin ni nigba ti won ba bi won lere awon frustrating questions awon obere to je pe o le dori yan ru to le danu bi yan nigba ton ba bi won lere awon yan yi won pada si won live program wa yi won pada ma soro si won wa de binu ko lori sane won be baba ba je pe to yo se be baba yen duro ba won ta kon ni di mo en soro yi video yen ti mo wo n ba mi ninu je wi pe coordinator progress to je moderator fun interview yen yo ru ba ni yo ru ba ni mo ta won obere ati body language to se fi baba yen ko do to stage kan ko jo pe o fi baba yen se leya lori pe baba wa da spora baba o le wale baba yen de mesi awon kan ti o ti ye awa yoruba ni pe u po ninu wa o ti mo pe a baba yi ti lo ti won ija yoruba ni won gbe se ka se suru ka ma wo ki fulani ma pa mejo meji la ogun bo se n pa yi nile yoruba agbo ti na ti ara won awon ara won ni be ka wa ta ki se ta ki se fulani ta to mo won ta ki se no ta na ta to mo won kini ka ti pe ti wa ti won tu wa gbe iya yen wa sodo wa ti won fi nje wa awon eyan de dide won wo pe where solution to this problem is eje ke everybody ma ba ti e lo awon bere ti o se gbo se ti ni won bi baba yen sugbon baba ba ti mo leni leni ah mo wa confess pata pata pe baba yen ka o so lo to he knows what is what he wants he knows how he want it he know when he want it and he knows what the whole yoruba land wants won de so won soro jade won wu we to matured won wu we to wa well educated won wa comport won compose ara won won well well deliver interview i was totally impressed bo te ti un ko je pe the way teni to bi won le re se bere inu bi mi ka lo mo yibo ni ta ba usa ta bi fulani i wouldn't be surprised but yoruba although everybody has right to his or own opinion and it's not compulsory that what i support you should support it we have different ways 
the first perspective ta fi ma nwo sakun oro oni kaluku lo ni so ona ti ma coordinator yen to fi wo oro yen ona ti eni yen amo ona yen awon the way ton fi bere it was very very annoying but baba yen ka o show because it got to a stage baba yen phone si le pe even if you support Nigeria government, I will still stand by my word. And we are not against the government. We are asking for our right. Koti yi a polo kwa wa yoruba, in tam fe, i dita de fi fe. La baro lo un video ke jite ma wole ni. Ta bilo la, ma berizi at advantages ta ma ri ninu yoruba ni so ma gbe jade boyo olohun ati eni ko mo yoruba wo ka won na le iga lati ja fun pe no yoruba ni so e la fe because awon ko ta fe enjoy it poju and baba made them to realize that and to confirm it that awa o ta duro to dodo we will never take that kind of step to do what we need to take. Mm -mm. That we Yorubas, the greatest nation among Africans, that we are, we are never violent. We don't ask for things with violence. Ah, Jamotoku. Ah, Kim Fija Gidicha Gomberinko. Ah, De Kim Uwa Pali. Baba Yadeh Sokwe, due to Gobo Tuta and Fulani Ipa. It is imperative for us to go. What it to do in Yoruba law? Baba Yemonto felt the duty. Even while he was frustrated, he still said what was on his mind. Emma Jekim Bawala Koko, Eja Jo Debe, Kajo will interview ye. Kawo Kilo Sombe. We started a movement for the liberation of the Yoruba nation from Nigeria under existing laws of the international community. People don't seem to recognize that. There is a law, the United Nations Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, permits every nation that wants to separate from the country that they, long, uh, they belong to now to do so. But you have to do it peacefully. That's a provision. You cannot say because you want self-determination for your nation out of a country. Uh, you want to destabilize a country. You want to break down the peace of the country. You want to attack the laws of the country. No, that's, that's not allowed. The movement that I lead is, a, is a, it's an intellectually sophisticated movement, disciplined. And no member, not a single person in the entire movement, and we are in the millions all over the world, we are in the millions. Not a single one of us will do what uh, Mrs. Abiola did, what Onitiri did. Not a single one of us. She was entirely, she and her people were entirely on their own. They are not part of us and we are not part of them in any way. Uh, our struggle for self-determination has been pursued peacefully. We started in 2019, and this is 2024. That's roughly five years now, slightly under five years, and we have no record of violence. In the year 2021, in the middle of year, uh, 2021, we launched a number of rallies, public rallies, the first one was in Ibadan, and it was very large. Uh, about 1.2 million people were present in that rally. And we thought, oh, we, were do we had done well. But then we moved to Abelkuta, and people in Abelkuta were much larger in number than the ones in Ibadan. And we went to Shogo, and from there went to Akure, and... Uh, went to Adoekiti. In Adoekiti, the crowd was the largest ever. 
about 3.1 million people clogged the streets of Adokiti for the whole day. And in all of these mammoth rallies, nobody misbehaved. Nobody behaved in an unruly or unlawful way. The police didn't have to caution anybody. The police did not arrest anybody. Nobody was wounded in any way. It was a happy rally. Well, prof. Young people, educated young people, clamoring for their own country separate from Nigeria. That's entirely lawful. Well, prof. Uh, there is Entirely a report. Entirely under the law, Prof. There is a report in the paper. And so, and so nobody, and so nobody, and so nobody was arrested, and nobody can be arrested in such circumstances. Well, Prof. There is a story in the papers today. That's who we are. Well, Prof. There is a story in the papers today saying that you, as a leader of the Yoruba Self Determination Movement, as now you have now written to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to say that Yorubas would like to break away uh, from That's Nigeria through negotiations. Way. Do you think that uh, President Tinubu will sit, will allow his government to sit at a table with uh, some Yoruba people saying they want to break away from Nigeria when Section 2 of the Constitution says that Nigeria is indissoluble that and indivisible? That's what the law of, that's what the Constitution of Nigeria says. But the, the law of Nigeria also, part of the law of Nigeria says that self-determination is a legitimate right. Well, Because when the United Nations passed the, uh, the, the declaration, Nigeria was a signatory to it. Nigeria brought the law, that declaration, to the National Assembly. The National Assembly approved it. And the President of Nigeria signed it. That made it part of the law of Nigeria. The same thing with the Africa Charter of, of uh, people's, of human and people's rights. But prof, sir. The president of Nigeria brought it to Nigeria, took it to the National Assembly. The National Assembly approved of it. Then the president signed it. That makes it a, a part of the law of Nigeria. But, but, and sir. courts in Nigeria have declared, have made this statement that fighting for self-determination is not unlawful in Nigeria. So, uh, uh, we are not doing anything unlawful. But, sir, uh, and we have no reason to want to stop it. But sir, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. The same Nigerian constitution says that even when we sign international covenants and conventions, it becomes law in Nigeria when it is domesticated. Now, you are an Aoist. You are part of the... Uh, our movement and all of that. Our, the late siege, wanted self-determination in the constitution, 1916, 1963. It never succeeded. And there's no, the Nigerian constitution does not uh, allow anybody to say they want to break away from any part of Nigeria. So I, I don't know. I mean, you are the teacher uh, of history. The, law, the, the, the laws of Nigeria allows individual Nigerians or groups of Nigerians to advocate for self-determination for their people. That's, that, that cannot be contradicted. The laws of Nigeria allows peoples in Nigeria to advocate for the self-determination of their people. Well, I'm, I'm not saying... That's the law. Well, but I'm... And that's why when we went on... That's why when we went on rallies and uh, so on, nobody could arrest any, any one of, our, of, of those boys and girls. Well, but because they were acting entirely lawfully. Okay, Prof. No, he... Listen, there is a, in, in this kind of situation after the, uh, after the folly and the criminal folly uh, by uh, Onitiri and the others, there is a, there is a natural uh, reaction. And people are now uh, saying that Nigeria, uh, are now saying things that are really not true about Nigeria. The laws of Nigeria allow Nigerians to fight for the self-determination of their people peacefully. Well, I'll try and check. And uh, Yoruba people who are fighting peacefully for the self-determination of uh, the Yoruba nation from Nigeria are doing it absolutely lawfully. But do you have any expectation that uh, President Tinubu uh, will sit down and negotiate for the Yorubas to leave Nigeria when he is himself a Yoruba man? My, that, that, 
that is the business of the president. He will do what he thinks is good for the country. We will do what we, is, we think is good for our own nation from Nigeria. And nobody is disputing the fact that we Yoruba have been destroyed in Nigeria. Last night, only this last night, crowds of young people called me from somewhere in Oyo State that Fulani people had invaded their village and uh, had, had scattered the whole place. We cannot continue to live like that. If anybody thinks that a people like the Yoruba people will continue to live like that, you are deceiving yourself. You may pander to the to the, to the Constitution. You may pander, pander to, the, uh, to the authorities of the land, but you cannot, you cannot twist the truth out of existence. That's the thing. You cannot say you do not know that the Yoruba people are under pressure in Nigeria. You cannot say that Yoruba people are not being killed and, uh, uh, and killed in Nigeria. You cannot say that uh, that a group of young men did uh, an estimation of how many Yoruba people have been killed. They think it's up to about 29,000. You can't put that way. So why are our why are some people behaving as if you're pandering to the government and pandering to to uh, uh, yeah, to the government, to, to, to the authorities, uh, negates the rights of other people. It doesn't. Well, no matter how much you ponder, you can tell me, oh, is President Tinubu going to sit with, uh, with us? And so it's his duty to sit, sit with us. That's his duty. Well, the law says so. Well, we write a letter to the president, it is his duty to answer us. And to, yeah, he can say no, what you are asking for, I won't grant it. But he has no right to say, he has no duty to tell us, I will not answer your letter. But sir, you he has a duty to answer our letter. You, you raised the same issues under the Buhari administration. President uh, Buhari uh, did not uh, just ignore. Yes. He went after Sunday Bo and uh, he showed that uh, his government would not allow any kind of challenge from anybody, whether Yoruba or Igbo. Why would uh, President Tinubu uh, listen to you, even when you said the you were not interested in the say election? That, uh, yeah, the president can say that as much as they like, but the president cannot unilaterally change the law of the land. That's the truth. The president, it is the duty of the president to say, oh my, this country, I will preserve its unity. I, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But that does not negate the lawful right of the people of Yoruba land or whatever part of Nigeria to seek for their self-determination. But, Prof, there seems to be some confusion we don't among quarrel the with, Yoruba elites. We, 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 we don't quarrel with the president for saying uh, nobody can, should, uh, should, want to, uh, to, should want to break up Nigeria. So it's fine. That's what the president is supposed to be saying. But we who know what is happening to our people, who think that the answer is to get out of Nigeria, we have a right to put it to the president and to put it to the world. But, That's all. But there seems to be co uh, some confusion in Yoruba land. I see that maybe perhaps the generality of the people uh, do not feel as passionate about self-determination. And secondly, there is all kinds of positions. Afeni Fere is talking about restructuring. You, you are talking about self-determination. You don't know the you don't know you don't know the nature of the Yoruba society. You don't. Most of the young people, and they are the majority in Yoruba land, want their, the self-determination of their Yoruba nation. That's the truth of the matter. That's what is keeping the movement going. And they are also doing so in the diaspora. Yoruba young men and women all over the world want their own country, separate from Nigeria. You cannot deny that. No matter how much you want to pander to the government, you cannot deny that. 
But That's the, the truth. But anyway, the important thing, however, the important thing, however, and I'm surprised that you are not talking about that, is that the Yoruba people who are fighting for self-determination are telling the world and telling themselves that they will do it only peacefully. We are Yoruba. We, look, we, we know our status in the world. We know our status, status in the black world. We do not want to destroy the peace of, of Nigeria. And we do not want to bring difficulty into the lives of any other group in Nigeria. But we want to get out of Nigeria. That's it. That's it. Well, Prof, you are a strong member. And you're not talking about that. You are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are asking me questions. You are asking me questions as if uh, what Onitiri did has, a, has the support of uh, the majority of Yoruba people who want self-determination. It is not true. Well, Prof. She has you, a small minority of uh, yeah, a section that is, uh, that is ready to do illegalities. A year ago, they went and attacked a radio station in Ibada and so on. Now this year, they are attacking the entire government of Ibadan, and so on. Ah, no. No, no, but we, we have never sent anybody to go and do that. And we do not, uh, we do not support it or encourage it. Prof. And we think it is criminal. Prof. You and so, so if, they get, if they get punished for their criminality, we have no objection to that. Prof, you, you are a strong but member. you cannot, because of them, generalize opposition to self-determination. You cannot. Well, Prof, you are a strong member of the uh, Unity Party of Nigeria, also a very strong member of Afeni Ferry. Afeni Ferry is talking about restructuring. You are now talking about self-determination. What is the difference, you know, in these two yes, ideological yes, positions? Yes, yes, our, our, yes. Our fathers in Afeni Ferry are doing the right thing, talking about uh, restructuring, so that we can go back and live our own life the way we used to live it prosperously. They're doing the right thing. There is nothing wrong with that. But we, another group of people, larger in number than they, are now saying, no, self-determination is the answer, not, not restructuring. Why? Because when you restructure, you are still in Nigeria. And the people who are coming and disrupting your life and dis destroying your farms and killing your women and raping your mothers and, and, uh, and, and, and uh, daughters and so on, are still Nigerians. They still have a right to come to Nigeria. The only final solution to that is to separate so that you have a separate Yoruba country where we can make our own laws and so on, where to which we admit only people we want to admit. So nobody can claim that they have a right to come to our land. They don't have such a right. But as long as we are in Nigeria, no matter what restructuring is done, they still have the right to come to our land and do the things that we are doing. Nobody is talking about the fact that most Yoruba farmers have been driven from the, their farms. I am not hearing that. I'm hearing only about government. I'm not hearing about people. You are not talking about the fact that most Yoruba farmers have been driven from their farms and that the Yoruba nation is in danger of farming upon farming upon farming for years and years to come. You are not talking of the fact that the Fulani declared war on Nigeria on the 24th of January and 26th of January and said that Tenobu is not our president. We are going to Axo Rock. We will, uh, we will take over the seat of government there and we will use, and we will use this place to organize a, 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 the conquest of the rest of Nigeria. You're not talking about that. You are not talking of people who said, nobody, no Fulani man must be arrested for the bomb in Ibadan. If you do, we, you will have bombs in every town in Yoruba, in, 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 in Nigeria. Nobody is talking about that. Nobody is talking about the sheer insult of living in a country where some people are treating the government like that. You are talking about, well, about, about uh, Unitiri and so on. You are, why do our... Well, Prof, 
Let me ask you this. Self-determination. You, 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 you are entitled to your opinion. You are entitled to your opinion. But what I'm saying is that your opinion rigorously avoids the truth. Rigorously. But prof. Avoids we, the truth. Nigeria, as uh, Onigo Tite told us in his uh, research on ethnic nationalities in Nigeria, has over 300 ethnic nationalities. Will you recommend self-determination to all the other ethnic nationalities in Nigeria for all these those, nationalities those, to break those, away? Those who want it, have, those who want it, don't ask me a general question. I, I'm asking for self-determination for a nation, the Yoruba nation. There are about 60 million people in Nigeria. And uh, they have their territory is large enough to be a, a large country. So that's what I'm talking about. Any other nationality in Nigeria that wants self-determination is free to, to ask for it. I'm, I cannot come and ask for self-determination for nations that are not mine. No. Well, well Prof, as we have this, uh, we're having this conversation. You are in uh, Kutunu, Republic of Benin. Not too long ago, after Chief Sunday Boho returned to uh, Nigeria, uh, one of your spokespersons, uh, Mr. Gani Alagbaka, I think, uh, said that uh, uh, Professor Akitoye will also be coming home very soon. How soon, Prof? Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming home. It's, it's my prerogative in life to decide how I move. Yeah. Certainly. That's but, my right. But are you very... Or, I, or, or, or would you want, or would you want, because of your support for Nigeria, also limit my right to move as I like? But Prof, are you very optimistic that one day this vision of self-determination for the people of Yoruba land will come to pass? It will come to pass. Well, it will come to pass. Nobody can stop it. Well, on that note, I'd like to thank you very much. And we are not hostile to any government. We were not hostile to Buhari. We were not hostile to Buhari. So why should we be hostile to our own man who is president? He's our boy. He's our, he's our son. He's, he's our brother. Only, uh, you know, so we cannot be hostile to him. We were not hostile to Buhari. We sent a message to Buhari. Buhari uh, told his people that election was coming. He didn't have time for, to answer us. And so they didn't answer us. All right. Uh, but elections are not coming now. And we want the president of Nigeria to discuss with us. Uh, president Buhari stood up in the United Nations General Assembly in 2016 and 2017 and said, self-determination is the legitimate right the inalienable right of every nation in the world. He said that, he even said at some point, it is immoral for anybody to, to forcefully deny self-determination to any people. So people ask him, what about the people, the, the uh, uh, indigenous people of Biafra who are asking for their nation? He said, if, if the people who are asking for Biafra would do it peacefully through a peaceful organization, then we, the, the Nigerian state, will have no other option than to discuss with them, to negotiate with them. Well, oh, yeah. You, you, people don't know these things, or people refuse to know these things because they want to, uh, to, to, to appear to be supporting the government. But this is not a question of supporting or no. We are not, we in this Yoruba self-determination uh, movement, we are not opposed to Nigeria, we are uh, to Nigerian government. We don't oppose our people who are ruling us, no. But we think the time has come when a nation like the Yoruba must take its freedom and create its own kind of country where our people can live the way we used to live under Chief Obafemi Awolowo. That's what our people want. They don't, you know, we don't hate anybody. We are not hostile. Even the Fulani who are coming and killing us, it's very difficult to get Yoruba people to hate them. You cannot preach 
hatred of another nation to, to Yoruba people. You cannot. It doesn't happen. It is not in their blood. So they don't hate the Fulani. They don't hate their yeah, you go. They don't hate outside. They don't hate anybody. They just want to get out and go and live their own life the way they know how to live it. That's all. That is, or that was, okay, that is Lashi Marco. Baba, Banji Akitoye. I'm on the one sort of ten woman. You know, interview T, one be one lady, Lori. Lori or Royal Banish. One would have seen it in that man that he really knows what he's saying, he knows what he wants, he knows what Yorubas is leading, what they want. But unfortunately for every one of us, for some larger percentage of Yorubas, most especially the elites among us, once you repay a joy, a family coordinator I still repeat it. The man is a Yoruba in out. Inside out, you will it. I will be our more you will it down. And it don't sorrow to the coordinator here. Our more you know, a medo lot in Richa Nigeria for the graduate. A be a medo. I want my usa de Richa. Come on, toss it on what you reach. Fulani will live up power, so more safe. And to be the the group you are leading, yet everybody will still accept. We pay our Yoruba. So we can look at our Baba in Jafui. And to our Yoruba, we are in your team. Upon look at team, especially the elites among us, we Yorubas. Upon look at we accept that. Oh, you talk kara wo kare de. We pay a bukuto kon eni kanti danko. On to de boju, opolo ko ti accept ko de bamu. She bo ni bobo wa o fe dolori oro oro monye. E wo to ni po de president Yoruba. E wo ba wo fula ni she mo she chade mo she wa trek ni ne. Baba ye somoro. Tori po je Yoruba ni. Coordinator yen fi leri a yon fi baba she le yakwe. You wrote such letter to Buari. Buari declined that Buari does not even have time for you. Instead, he arrested Sunday bo. Hmm. Le no mo Yoruba. Ara won kontan so ni yen pe. Bo ya sensitization programs ni o ti to ni o. Boy, I'm when you're rope, tout la moto and the air. Thank God, and it all be Larry or Roy, Professor Ni. Shake a lorry out, baby. Shake a nico montoshin. Taluma la jule, Kitalubo, Kobo, Vitalubo, Jim Kowoi. I want you to look at your baffle fulani. I want you to talk about Paponi. Kiko a papa or no fita wow. Should my big bay do ba fi fu 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 la ni ni wan fi tawa. Ni ba ka fe ba independent 1960. Ode ni di ton fi shebe. To ripe wan ni target. Ni ba ta ti shebe jona. Ta ti wani ri jona. Lo yi bo ti mo ak ba rato wa lo wan yoruba. Ni wan ti mo pe yi be do ba fu yoruba. A wan ni ra ye shen ton fe shen le yo ni Nigeria mo. Bi ki won ma gba wa kon ku alumo ni wa lo kon tori pa won la won colonize wa won la fun wa ni dependent ki won si ma pase ni nigeria won mo pe gbogbo kan yin o ni possible mo eni elekeji for any country to colonize any country in africa won o fe to ta freedom for africa o 
fun country ye iru e ni france se to foju won but uk awon awon european to colonize awon awon se ti won labele ni france se ti e won awon se ti won labele won measure pa won fun wa ni dependent won fun wa ni republic sugbon they are still controlling us underneath underground they make sure we are never independent they make sure we are totally dependent on whatever is coming from their own country won make sure pe gbogbo nkan ta nje ta mu to lo to nje le si wa won make sure pa won la won control la to do won that is why it's tomorrow dollar han la ma pariwo nja o le ti bo pe naira han o affect awon ri rara o be dollar han affect awa is dollar awa o le ga tenda se de dollar ni currency ta non le yoba ni rara but to ri pa won to colonize wa gbogbo kan ni won ti se pe ka ma le free that was why ti won fi gbe joba fun awo lowo no fi je fulani ta fa ba le wa no gbe fun won ra gbara to wa lowo yoruba won ri tutu fa awo lowo ti pa won mo pe the capability of this man is stronger than the ass won mo pe ma yin ka o so ta ba gbe joba fun a liberate nigeria to pata pata ku lowo wa ko ni je ka ni assess si nigeria ba se bo se e ka ni won wa wa won wo ni sufa yo awon wo la won mo le ma control won gbe fun fulani e je ka do wo video ti mo fe fi hon wa yi e ni ko le ti ri tele bo ke gbo asiri ta won oyin bo ife nu ara won tu ke gbo asiri to tu ninu video yen lori kini reason ti won fi gbe joba fun yoruba ni 1960 e ja jo to an African television station for decades. <laughs> this is something we have looked forward to for such a long time, and we are so happy to be here. Thank you. Mr. Aros Smith was a young, bright, and principled Oxford University graduate who was recruited by the colonial office and posted to Nigeria. He took his final, ex uh, final examination a year ahead of his class. He also married Mrs. Carol Smith, whom he met while they were both at Oxford University. Together they went to Nigeria where they had their two children. Mr. Aaron Smith, you were featured in a program uh, recently by BBC Radio 4, yeah. uh, titled Document, yeah. and that was hosted by Mr. Mike Thompson. Yeah. You were alleged that the British government rigged the first and most important election in the history of Nigeria in 1959 in favor of the north am i correct yes how long were you in nigeria for from 1955 to 1960 and we were based in lagos i was on the staff of the department of labor i was largely occupied with employment problems all the employment exchanges and statistics and international reports and was kept pretty busy I was also stationed in Lagos in charge of the capital and the port. I was the port labor officer as well. And I also devised a port labor scheme and later a social security scheme, which was one of the first in Africa, which guaranteed workers some income after they'd finished work. It was a, a provident scheme, as I say, it was called the National Provident Scheme. And I was very proud to have put that on the statute book. I was going to ask you what your role is. You've mentioned three in Paran. Is there any particular name given to your office while you were there? Just labor officer. I was a labor officer, a senior civil servant. Okay. I only intended to stay in Lagos initially for two tours of duty. Although because of this conflict with the elections, there, was, uh, there were difficulties. Actually, government wouldn't let me leave the civil service. They were determined that I should stay in the civil service after my two tours. And I was offered very considerable incentives, including a knighthood, 
to stay and work for government. Primarily this was because I had access to the state secrets. I learned, and the Governor General himself confirmed this to me, that the elections were rigged, contrived. The intention was that the North should rule Nigeria. Even in 56, the Northern leaders were very proud and were saying, if they couldn't run Nigeria, never mind elections, they might not join Nigeria, they might leave. And we all thought, well, how would they survive? There were no industries, there's not a great deal of agriculture, some groundnuts in the north. This wasn't very practical at all. And then it was, the Governor General seemed to be thinking that the North couldn't, even if it won an election, rule Nigeria by itself. The, the South wouldn't stand for that. So there had to be a partner, either the Igbos in the East or the Yoruba in the West, to team up with the North. What he didn't want was for the two Southern parties, the Igbo and the Yoruba, to team up to form the government, because he believed the North wouldn't tolerate that and talked about leaving the Federation. So as I learned, in a small way at first, but very rapidly I learned about the election fixing, and as I say, this was confirmed to me by the Governor General. He actually said that he wanted me to know the truth, because he wanted me to know how much trouble I was in. You mentioned statistics, you were collecting figures. Yes. Is that for labour and unemployed people only, or generally? Primarily, but obviously my interest was in the population of generally. Nigeria. Yes, and Awolowo, the Yoruba leader, leader of the action group, yep. and Chief Enaharo, they too, other people were saying, where are all these millions of people in the north? Where are they? We're going up there to campaign. We want to know, you know. And um, you see all these, you know, thousands of miles of not very developed countryside and yet the northerners are claiming that uh, their voting registration figures are larger than in the south you know larger far more people up there well actually if you went through the Igbo land you know Enugu and that you saw lots and lots of people if you went to Ibadan uh, again Ibadan teeming you know, with millions of people but we didn't actually see many Northerners, and obviously not many Northerners at that time came to Lagos. So this did arouse suspicion. Now, the Europeans, you know, not stupid, we are watching what's going on in Nigeria, and we too are beginning to feel there's something not quite right here, that maybe the elections are not going to be as straightforward as they're meant to be. Nigeria was being described as the showcase of democracy and it was expected that the nationalist leaders would win through. But actually, when the election results were uh, announced by the Governor General, before the vote was even in, he didn't vote, didn't count for that, he didn't wait for that. I have to tell you, the British were counting the votes and the British cannot be trusted. They look after their friends. Loyalty is the big thing for the British. And we were friends with the emirs of the north. We looked on people like Inaharo and Awolowo as rather dangerous people. They might even be communists. That was ridiculous, actually. They couldn't mm. be communists in a thousand years. But this was a sort of thing that was being said. And we were, as Europeans, were getting a bit worried about all this. It wasn't quite the honest, straightforward election that we were hoping for. Apart from uh, Professor Anderson and Dr. Patrick Wilmot that supported your submission on the rigged election, there were other people who also served in the colonial office uh, in your days? I mean, who opposed to this uh, submission? There initially, I was um, uh, warned of what was going on by my senior officer, a major bunker. 
I didn't know. And I knew that uh, the Governor General had directed me to take all the office staff of the Ministry of Labour to help Chief Okoti Ebo in politicking in Warri. And this was most irregular, and I refused to do this. Having refused an order, I know what the drill is. You resign. I resign my post. That is the proper thing to do. What they did then was rather devious. They persuaded me to withdraw my resignation, and when I did, they sacked me. It didn't go through, but they, I thought this was a bit low after I'd resigned and was prepared to leave the country. This was not very nice behaviour. They later withdrew this and said that I had been of some service to the state and actually commended me for what I had done and said I would, could leave Nigeria with splendid testimonials and we shook hands on this. And this was done with the recognition of the Deputy Governor General, Sir Ralph Gray. And then I left Nigeria the first time and took up a job as a personnel officer, a very big job, with the SO refinery. And then government came after me, declared that I was a traitor, and I had betrayed the British people, ought to be imprisoned, and I lost that job. And then they came to me again and said, it's all been a big mistake, dreadful mistake. I'm a jolly decent chap, you know, Oxford chap. And they put me on a plane straight back to Nigeria where I'd make up for the time I'd been away. There was a great deal of good work for me to do. And we fell for this. We shouldn't have gone back, but we did. Now, um, if you recall what you said about the role of the Governor General and the attitude of the British government in particular, uh, regarding the fear that Awolowo, Okutiebo, and the lot of them from the south are dangerous. Is there a particular reason? There, why, why the fear from the British government? Is it that they don't want to release or relinquish no. Nigeria? They still want to they control wanted, Nigeria? They knew that the North would do as they said after independence. If it had any pro the North would just because it was their habit, they, were, they liked the British, whereas the nationalists were an unknown factor. Actually, on the, when they took the flag down and hoisted the Nigerian flag, not one of the major nationalist politicians was there. They weren't even on the platform. This was incredible. These were the people who had sought independence. The people in the north didn't want independence. They didn't want the British to leave. So this was a farce. And for most Europeans who were very close and watching this, we were disgusted. We thought this really had been manipulated, this election. It was unworthy. It was unworthy of the British people, this. This was no honest, straightforward thing that you would expect Britain, the mother of parliaments, to do. This was cheap and low and criminal. And I opposed it. And I opposed it then and I've opposed it ever since. And I'm telling you the truth. And I was warned, if I told you this, this state secret, my life could be forfeit. Earlier on, you said the British government wanted the North in alliance with either of the southern uh, yes. uh, region, either with the Yorubas or with the Yibos. But I mean, with, with, without which they yeah, cannot they, they can't do this country. rule the country. The problem was that Awolowo was a highly principled man. Okay. You didn't talk to Awolowo about squalid deals and fixing things. Awolowo was not that kind of person. If you read his books, this man was a world statesman. And his young lieutenant, Chief Enaharo, was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. However, they did do a deal with Sikh, Dr. Azikawe, okay, from the East. 
Dr. Azikawe, there was this big problem in Nigeria. It's the same big problem in America and in Britain. How do you get funds to fight elections? The candidates in Nigeria had no money, but they did have marketing boards, which were a kind of semi-nationalized industry. And they borrowed money from the marketing boards. But there was a suspicion that Dr. Azikwe, who has formed his own bank, the African Continental Bank, was actually bankrupt. But he was borrowing very large sums of money from the marketing boards and not necessarily repaying the, the loans. Mm. We knew this. We had a great secret service. All the politicians' phones were tapped. All the politicians' mail was opened. Everything that any major politician did in Nigeria, we knew in hours. We watched. We knew all that was going on. Are you saying, in essence, that Dr. Azikwe took money? He was blackmailed by the British to do our bidding. We told Dr. Azikwe that he could go to prison if, if an inquiry was carried out into his bank and his financial circumstances. However, we would not want to be vindictive if Dr. Azikwe was cooperative in helping forward the plans that we had made in the best interests of Nigeria. Dr. Azikwe has nothing in common with the northern politicians. He practically he loathed the northern politicians. But Dr. Azikwe went north, did as he was told, and what he was promised was this. The real power, effective power, would be in the hands of the northern emirs. However, it would look great if the president was Dr. Azikwe and he was given a field marshal's uniform and an admiral's uniform. He asked, please, could he have a row of medals? For, but they said, well, no, that wasn't, that was a bit difficult, you know, to get the medals. So when the ambassador started arriving, he was known to be asking people from foreign countries, you know, perhaps they had a medal for his uniform. We thought this was terrible, but it was said that this happened. He was very vain. And he, for a time, he functioned as the first the governor general, and then when Nigeria became a republic, as the president. But he had no power. And when he did try to tell the army, he said, I'm the field marshal, the army has got to do with this. They said, hey, you're just a ceremonial figure. You have no power. The prime minister, Belewa, gives us our orders. So there was a feeling then that there was going to be trouble. And then it was because the Awolowo and the action group had become the official opposition. What we British wondered, how could they win? Or a totating basin mo fe bo eto lori she rishi mo wa lo lo kon jo kon iro yin to ko ju osuwon ata won oro agbo fi kogbon ire wole fun teru to mo te we ta gba e ma fi para eti ati mo fe ma wo or a totating basin mo fe bo eto lori she rishi mo wa lo lo kon jo kon iro yin to ko ju osuwon ata won oro agbo fi kogbon ire wole fun teru to mo te we ta gba e ma fi para aja no ku ko ja mo ri ko fere baba re re ka wi pari bgitv we are the patient star baba gbagede imo television station tido de